Derek O'Brien, the TMC leader in the Rajya Sabha, the TMC was the first party to announce they will boycott the new building inauguration of parliament. Derek O'Brien joining me. Mr. O'Brien, on what grounds do you justify your decision? At the end of the day, it is the prerogative of the government surely to decide who inaugurates a parliament building. Isn't it possible for you to rise above divisions and work with the government? Of course, everybody in the opposition always wants to rise above divisions and work with the government. But I'm glad this story at last has hit the nine o'clock news. This is not about just about who will inaugurate parliament or who will not inaugurate parliament. It's a much more, that's an issue, but it's a much bigger issue. In the last nine years, the BJP have mocked parliament. They've decimated parliament. Let me give you, I can give you 20 examples, Mr. Sardesai, but I will restrict myself to five or six examples. All factual. Number one, who is mocking parliament? The prime minister wants to inaugurate parliament. Has he, how many questions has the prime minister of India answered on the floor of parliament in the last so many years? Zero. Number two, a government with a comfortable majority. Why haven't they appointed a deputy speaker in the Lok Sabha? Number three, why are only one out of 10 bills scrutinized before being passed? Earlier number was six or seven out of 10 bills were scrutinized. That's three. Number four, originally about two, or two out of every 10 bills passed were ordinances. Why is that number ordinances, emergency legislation? Why is the number up from two to four out of 10 bills. Next one, what is the average time of a bill being passed in parliament in the last nine years under Mr. Modi, who now wants to inaugurate parliament? 11 minutes a bill. This doesn't even happen in a T20 match. Where has the railway budget been for the last seven years? And finally, for the farm bills and other bills where members from different opposition parties asked for a division, a division means not a voice vote. You have to have a vote. This government did not allow a division. These are only six or seven. I can carry on for 30 minutes, but that's the Mr. bigger point. Mr. O'Brien, Mr. O'Brien, Mr. O'Brien, what you're suggesting is that there is a, that parliament has become dysfunctional and you're blaming Prime Minister Modi's government for it. My problem is, Tali Dohat se bachti hai. Let's accept and for argument's sake, what you're saying, that this government has singularly failed to fulfill its responsibility in the treasury benches. Has the opposition been cooperative? Have you tried to work with the government? I, I, you know, you also, Derek O'Brien, mm. you mm. meaning the opposition also, seems intent in some way of cornering the government <laughs> when it comes to disruptions in parliament. So we've got a terrible situation Listen, at the moment no. where parliament is no. becoming dysfunctional. Yes, it is dysfunctional. Has anybody, has anybody on national television told the young people of India that the last nine sessions of parliament, the last nine sessions of parliament have been cut short before the date? Who did it? The government. Has anybody told the young people of India the average time for a parliament working session was 125 days every year. Now it's down to 60 days of the year. There are, I can write a book about about how the BJP have made it dis dysfunctional, but I, dysfunctional. But I'm not surprised. This is they've made the BJP themselves dysfunctional. And I think there's a much bigger point here. The bigger point is that now Parliament is now come onto prime time television at nine o'clock because we couldn't get this done earlier because even Sansad Tiri is being censored. Mics have been muted. And let me tell you. MPs have to find new ways to get the because we are muted in parliament and you are a journalist. India today, uh, the prime minister didn't answer any questions in parliament. Okay, he didn't even answer any questions to India today because you didn't ask him. But on a more serious note, what about the media? Why is, in the, why is the media now censored to go into parliament? The press club has issued a statement today. Why do you want to keep the media out? This is not this is not the way. And this thing about 25 so, parties. No, so you're 20, saying it's one no, party. No, so I want to it's one no, party. Mr. O'Brien. Mr. O'Brien, you're saying that the boycott of parliament by the opposition of the, of the inauguration ceremony, is it only about the fact that Mr. Modi is the one doing it and not President Draupadi Murbu? Or is it because you believe that the Prime Minister simply has not done enough 
to ensure that parliament is functioning. Let's get that very clear. At the it moment, is, you seem to be not... standing on an issue of propriety, saying the prime no, no, minister no. of the country is not entitled Arre, to inaugurate the building. Please. Of course, of course, he is not entitled. Of course, he is not entitled. It's not one issue. One is the Article 79 of the Constitution. Who is, who is Parliament made up of? It is, please, Mr. Sardesai, it is wrong to suggest it is only one issue. Yes, that is an issue. But what has been happening, I've, I've been there. Sometimes you feel like breaking down and crying in Parliament because I see it happening on my left, on my right. It's happening. No, it happened, it happened uh, in the West Bengal Assembly as well. Mr. O'Brien, the problem the is it starts in Parliament across this go. country. There is a breakdown in Parliament <laughs> and Assemblies. What are you talking about? Mr. Sardesai, please understand. I'll give, you, I'll, give you a very, I'll give you a very interesting insight. You talk about West Bengal Assembly or Tamil Nadu Assembly. Do you know what is happening there with bills and governors? The, the Raj Bhavans have been converted into RSS Shakhas. They don't pass the bills. This ordinance about Delhi. So please understand there are opposition parties. The number is not important. 5, 10, BJP, NDA. Suddenly the NDA has issued a statement. What NDA? Where is the NDA? Where, where is the NDA? That's a BJP statement. And you've taken, you bullied, and in the name of double engine, you bullied the northeastern states and taken their one MP, one MP, and chief ministers, throttled them and said, sign now. This is the reality, Parliament. But, but I'm still very hopeful. I'm very, no, very no, hopeful. No, the fact, no, no, Mr. O'Brien. No, no, Mr. O'Brien, in conclusion, the fact is BSP, Biju Janta Dal, T, uh, the TDP, the YSRCP, there are several <laughs> opposition parties that will also attend. So who I want to understand even within the opposition, Mr. there are two Sardisai, camps. Mr. One Sardisai. which are close to the government and one which Mr. are anti Modi. Mr. Sardesa, I'm actually surprised how you put the two uh, f pieces of fake news into your question. Biju Janta Dal. Please look in Parliament at the Biju Janta Dal and please look in Parliament, only Parliament, at the YSR party. Okay, they've got CBI and all that. These two parties have consistently supported the Modi government on the floor of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. So what, they're already in the BJP camp in Parliament, now you're saying two of them are supporting no, it is wrong. And Mr. Naveen okay. Patnaik and Mr. Jagan Reddy, both, they have to put up their hands once and for all when this Delhi ordinance comes to the Rajya Sabha. As Mamta Banerjee said, we can defeat the BJP in 2023. And I'll tell you how it's done. Very simple. If Biju Janta does, Mr. Naveen Patnaik, and if Mr. Jagan Reddy, uh, YSR, if they want to fight for federalism, I urge them to vote for that in old parliament, new parliament, building doesn't matter, to vote for that for federalism and the BJP can be defeated in 2023 because the BJP have mocked parliament. It's really sad. We are not okay. angry. We are sad that this is what has happened to parliament. Okay, let's leave it there. You're sad you're saying more than you're angry. You're sad you're saying at the state of parliament today, you've given us some reasons why you believe that the opposition believes parliament has become dysfunctional in this country. Derek O'Brien, joining me there at the top of the show. Appreciate your joining us.